Well, hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. I've got a bit of a dilemma here. This is something that I've been putting off for a long time. For this launch lathe, I've got a set of collets. It's a 5mm one. They're 125 millimeters diameter and they're marked for F launch and they're the correct collets for this machine. This one's a bit knocked about but there's a lot of nice ones. They go in there. And there's a drawbar which goes down the end of the tailstock and pulls them in tight and thread together. Now, sometime in the distant past, or not so distant past, but before I got the machine, someone's bored this out. Um, or drilled it out with a 5.8 drill, probably a masonry bit or something. It was a pretty rough job. It was pretty hard on the front there, so... Probably have done that because they never had collets and or any use for them. And they wanted to put something a bit bigger, a bolt or something down there to hold it in the chuck. So, I've always thought I was going to do something with it, and this set of collets turned up. I've got probably 20 of them, different sizes. And it'd be nice to be able to use them. If you do put this in here, it locates okay on the outside end. There's no pin left anymore. <coughs> the pin should locate in the slot there. And that's gone, and that stops it turning while you tighten them up. Now it sort of works, but it's not really good. So this wants a sleeve in it. So I asked some of the guys on the Machining YouTube Facebook page. They're all pretty knowledgeable and helpful and kind of know stuff that I don't know. And... And I said, what should I do? And the, the general consensus is that I bore this out and put a, a plug in it and lock tied it in nice, let it dry and send a drill it and bore it again and and machine the end for the collet. And then I've got to take all this apart and put a new pinhole for the for the key. But that's a it's not a huge deal and I'd like to pull this apart and see how much wear we've got now. It's done a bit of work too, so. Anyway. I bought some of this tool steel, which is a, a cold work tool steel. Oil harden. Which is a nice metal to machine and it's it's on size and it's... It seems to wear pretty well without even hardening it. It's a fairly tough stuff. I hadn't really sort of thought I was going to harden it. But what I'm going to do is send a drill each end of this and put a dog on it and machine some of it down between centres to fit in here. And when it's in there a nice fit, we're going to cut the end of it off and lock tight it in and machine and centre drill this outside end. So that's the project. Well, that's the plan. I've already run a, a boring bar through there and that's at about 17 point. 17.1 millimeters and it seems to be nice and parallel and I've got a pretty good finish in there I think it's got a couple of marks in it where something's caught but it's not bad it's certainly good enough to lock tight so next job or the first job is to put the three drawer on and set the piece of bar up and send a drill each end find a dog for it and put the drive plate on so let's get and do that so a bit of messing around later, we've got a drive dog here made out of a, a shaft collar 
with a bolt tapped into it and that's it's wired to the, the drive plate we've got a center in this end and we've got a center up here and our bit of shafts ready to turn now uh, we've spent a bit of time measuring the, the internal here and it's about 17.1 so I'm going to go to 17.2 or 3 or something and we're going to try him. So that's the next job. So I messed around with this a bit this morning, got a bit ahead of myself as far as video goes and I've got a shaft that's a beautiful nice neat fit in that hole, I'm very impressed about that. Uh, that worked out to be 17.17 roughly millimetres diameter and it seems to go all the way in and it's a fairly tight fit to come out again. So, probably the next job is to Loctite that in, give him all a good clean up, take this drive plate off, take the drawbar out and get a bit of rag and some Loctite primer. So I'm just using 7471 primer, which is an arrow so can. It's awful stuff. Let's squirt a bit on a rag and give this a good a good clean out, all the grease and crap that's in there. And give this a bit of a clean up too. It's got cutting oil and stuff on it. Burn our sinuses out. We'll take this dog off. Which you can see again, that's just a a shaft collar with a bolt in it and a lock nut and a grub screw. Great way to make a a drive dog for your lathe. Quick and easy and takes about two minutes and bits are available pretty much at any bearing service or wherever. So there we go. It's going to be a pretty snug fit in there. Industrial chemical stink. You don't get that in the video. Give that a nice coating. And try not to lick your fingers until you go and have a wash. And we're going to push that home with the tailstock fairly quickly. That looks like that's nicely home, about as long as it wants to be. No, it's not. It's still a bit further. Still going. A little bit further. That feels like it's right home. So I might just leave a bit of pressure on that. And we'll give that time to set and we'll come back and part him off. So I next job I guess is to part that off and the machine it back down nice and flush and I've done that. And I've got an 8mm spotting drill here that's pretty robust and it's got a nice long point on it and it's brand new. I figured that might be the best thing to, to run through there. So 
today we've got a hull all the way through which is pretty nice and I think it's a pretty sweet hull too. I think it's time to go to bed and sleep on it. Well after about three hours of messing around boring this out I ended up running a sand drill through as deep as I could and then just cleaning the back out with that with an 11 millimeter drill and then going to 11.5 then messing around with this awful boring bar I did the silly thing and bought one of these Chinese into high-speed steel tip boring bars ages ago years ago and it's never been really much good but managed to do this job with it which is a bit of a miracle and once chucking out and we're going to have to either make or, or buy or obtain a decent set of boring bars because I'm I'm over this one so that's only a 12.5 millimeter hole there and it's fairly long so lots of spring cuts later we've got that pretty sweet fit in there I'm really pleased with it hopefully there's not too much wobble in it next job is to I guess set this up somehow probably the best way is just to set the collet and the three jaw and set the cross slide over to match this this taper here and then we're going to bore the bore the inside till that just sort of sits in there nicely so that's the next job the the one thing that's made this job doable I think more than anything else is this repeatable quick change tool post is a fantastic thing to be able to drop that in take it out measure the part drop it back in and take the same cut again and it's fantastic it's the best thing I've ever bought for this machine And I reckon that's probably not far out, so we'll try that. clean up so that's going to probably call part one of this this build or this repair finished I'm fairly happy with that that's the the drive center back in if we have a good look at that that's got run out to about quarter of a millimetre which it's got run out to about quarter of a thousandth of an inch which is 0 0.01 of a millimetre that's plenty good enough for me um, and I'm going to call that well within spec and I'm fairly pleased with that I have put this off for quite some time so I'm glad it's done the only real remaining job at the moment is to take the spindle out and in here there's a pin that locates on that key and stops it turning while you do up the draw bolt 
it's a fairly useful thing to have but it'll be fine without it um, at some stage I'm going to pull this apart I need to check out these bearings anyway and probably install proper oilers on here drill the old pin out and reclaim the thread and screw another one in with a bit of Loctite and grind it off nice on the outside and we'll, we'll finish it off nice on the outside and put it all back together then we pretty much should have proper collet facilities again that's not going to happen this week though and it might be before Christmas but I'm not sure anyway thanks for watching guys and more soon